So every call is a prayer. It's a prayer for the homeless, a prayer for the people, a prayer for the war. You know, I pick different things to pray about my family, but it's how, how I keep myself sane. So I grew up very small with these myths around me, that they were real. These myths that help people cope with the hard issues of life. They all felt the serpents. Each felt the serpent is a thunder from the creative God. And I concentrate on cleaning my mind and just seeing the thunder, the light of coming from the hand of God, guiding me to do that. He sends the light to our heart, to our eyes, to our mind. So when I put it, it starts emerging. Every time I lose my path and something gets bent or whatever, or it's starting to be something that I perceive is not what it should be, I do that with every coil. When I was homeless, I had problems so you know, I drank too much and I, I tried to self-medicate so that I could cope with the realities of life. My husband died, I was alone with my kids, a single woman, I was a victim of domestic violence. I lost my kids to CPS because I lost my visa because I couldn't work. I had a lot of problems that happened to me. And actually what happened to me is I died and I went to heaven and then I saw the world and I saw myself doing all, I saw myself stumbling. And then I looked up at God and I called him and he came to me and I said, give me another chance. I don't want to remember that. I want to remember that I work for you, I serve you and I help the world. So I woke up and then when I woke up, God took all addictions from me. So I went to the village hope and I started putting my piece, my life piece by piece together, just a call at a time. It was a lot of hardship. And the only reason I'm revealing that is because I would like to influence the people that I see walk by this same street every night, the homeless people that I see sleeping as I walk. I would like to give hope to the people that you can overcome addictions, you can overcome poverty, you can overcome anything. One word from God can change everything. And it's not a dogmatic God, it's the God that makes your heart beat and your nose breathe. A God of light and mercy and creativity.